Hello! And today, while walking around Aeon Hall at Chinanuma, I found on the third floor, the kids' floor, they have a good section for a Lego. And so I thought uh, we would take a look around and see what the selection looks like and compare prices on some of the sets. And why don't you come along with me? Okay, let's take a look. All right, so here's the overall view of the floor. And of course they have a video showing uh, the Lego city area here. So we're coming in, it looks like they have a few little sales. All right, basic city stuff. They also have uh, Ninjago here. Apparently, uh, there's a big push for Ninjago right now, especially with the release of the new uh, Ninjago animated series coming out uh, next week. And prices are a little bit higher here compared to uh, the Lego outlet store in Saitama. Uh, also, they're higher here compared to the uh, Yodobashi camera store in Akihabara. Let's come around here, look at the city sets. Of course, for the Lego brand, City uh, Police and Fire Station has always sold very well, historically, and of course that continues today. We have some helicopters here for the marine theme. A little bit more here. See. We have the, uh, I forget what this is called, but the, uh, the island, it's basically the Crooks Island or something like that. I really wish for all themes they would specify not just the set number, but also the name of the set on each one of these. Now I do like the, the fire boat here. So that might be one that I would get, but it's not something that I would be desperate to get anytime soon. Now, when I was a kid, I had this particular, I had the original one, the police boat from, oh, what was it, 20 years ago? But now you have a little uh, hover, hover raft to go with it. Little uh, raft. Okay, let's swing around here and take a look at the Star Wars section. Yeah, let's see here. Oh man. Now that's way overpriced if I've ever seen one. They're actually asking, and do my eyes deceive me here? They're actually asking for an Ichiman for something that should cost a third of that? Holy crap, that's a huge markup. I mean, right now I can go to yodabashi.com and buy this a lot cheaper than that. That's got to be just... Let's see here. No, that's no mistake. The set numbers match. Holy crap, that's a huge markup. Oh no, that's not the same. It's That's for the TIE Fighter. Okay, I was about to say. Bad placement. They must be out of TIE Fighters. Because you can see the real price is right here. And that's a lot cheaper. But still more expensive than Yodabashi. So, uh, tip to the wise. If you want to get these, get them from Yodabashi.com. They're really expensive here. I, I would say they're on par, if not more expensive than the Lego store in Odaiba. Okay, let's kind of come around this way. And of course, we have our friends and Disney, um, well, not Disney princess just yet, but we have friend sets here. And I do like this particular one here. 
Holy mackerel, they actually have the advent calendar. That's kind of hard to get. And it's almost April already. It's hard to believe they actually have this. And it's a reasonable price. Uh, I guess this might be the last one, but holy mackerel. Advent calendar. These really go for a good price on Bricklink, especially unopened, good condition. Oh man. I mean, I could buy it here now and probably resell it for um, maybe 25% um, more, maybe 15 to 20% more on Bricklink. I do like this set here, the Superstars house, or the Popstars house, I guess they call it, but uh, I like the fact that it comes with the uh, sushi piece. That's really cool. All right. Let's kind of go through this a little bit faster. So you can see the prices here, definitely more expensive. On the other hand, they do have some sets here that Yodobashi does not carry anymore. So, with that in mind, you might consider the additional price as something you have to just pay for. Of course, I like the Cinderella Castle right here. And then we have, uh, looks like Ariel's little uh, mermaid castle. See the price here as well. Okay, it's come back around here. They're not big on technique here, obviously. So I guess they don't get a lot of big kids here. At least none like me. But they do have the uh, creator set here for what looks like a uh, fighter jet. That's pretty cool. Here we have the Changing season set. I like this one a lot. Along with uh, the one next to it. Very cool. Creator sets are all right, but there are other things I find much more interesting and challenging, like uh, technique. And of course, I sort of glossed over the uh, Speed Champions, but we do have Speed Champions here. All right, swing it to the aisle right behind me. Uh, we see the city sets. Now, one thing I do find that's kind of nice here is you have this one panel piece that's really nice to get. Uh, but I wouldn't buy it for just that. Eh, well, it looks like it has a few other little uh, tile plates as well. But, eh, I think it'd be better off if I just want that part to get it on Bricklink. Now here's one I would buy just for this piece here, I mean this section right here, to get the uh, mobile outhouse. That would be interesting to me. And of course we have the construction sets here. And I noticed they have this space shuttle here and there is a, um, a Walmart store, well, I call it Walmart, but in Japan, Walmart is known as Seiyu. And there, it's priced at about, oh, um, Hasen, and this is almost uh, Gosen more. So it's a lot cheaper if you just go to Seiyu if you want to buy this set. Thank you. What a waste of time. Anyway, I don't care what she says, but I really do like this set here. It'd be really good to have. Train set would be cool. All right. Very cool. Yeah, this would be good to have in my uh, Lego city that I'm trying to build out. Alright. 
Okay, so we're just going to kind of browse through this a little bit faster. Just give you guys the idea of what they have here. Overall prices here. And it's cool they have the little mini set here. Okay. Let's come around this side, more city. Swamp set here is pretty cool. Of course they have a nice little play area. More Ninjago. Ninjago is a really nice theme I'm rather fond of. Of course, uh, this one's much more expensive here. I'd say almost everything here is more expensive. Um, except these. Strangely enough, these little small ones are reasonably priced. And Duplo. And of course we have Ninjago. Alright. Very cool. Yeah, actually I can get this cheaper at the Lego store right now. So why would I buy here? Thank you. And as I mentioned before, they're showing the. Oh, I guess it's from April 10th that it will start the new season. Oh, very good. Very cool. By the way, I did get this one. And it's actually a fun build. Pretty simple. And I really like the, uh, the parts here that make the Asian architecture on top of. Uh, even though they're using burp, the burp actually works quite well here. Alright. So that pretty much wraps up this section here. So, uh, this will conclude our tour today. I really do hope you like looking around here. Even though the staff said uh, they don't like you filming anything, I'd say screw them. Don't care. I'm here to show you guys what they have to offer and save you a trip. So if you're looking for good deals, maybe not come to Aeon Mall. Instead, go to either Legoland itself or a Lego store, or perhaps uh, go to yodabashi.com, the website, and just order it from there. Uh, you'll most likely get a much better deal, a lot cheaper there. And you get points as well. Thank you for your time.